This morning, John, uh, fire officials are still working to learn the cause of this fire, so we don't have that information just yet. But I want to give you all some perspective uh, here. This is a unit right here behind me, and this is actually what these apartment complexes are supposed to look like. Take notice of the staircase there, and I'll direct you to where this fire happened where these families had to evacuate from early this morning at 517 when this all happened. The stairs are just gone. They are destroyed. You can't even see them. So definitely a frightening situation. Families here wondering how they're going to start all over, especially in the midst of a pandemic. Let's take a look at this video here. The fire broke out at Hickory and Grattan just south of downtown. Fire officials say this is a six unit apartment. They say it looks like that fire was traveling up the back of the apartment, as you could see uh, from the shots earlier, and then expanding through the roof. Let's take a look at video now from our Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox. You can really see those flames just shooting out with this aerial footage. They could be seen all the way from across the river on the Illinois side. Firefighters went in because of structural concerns. The chief took them back out so they could knock this fire down from the outside. Then they went back inside to get all of the hot spots out and make sure that the fire didn't spark again. Now we are told there were 14 adults and six children living in this unit. So at least 20 people were inside when this fire broke out early in the morning. Uh, residents say that people were knocking on their doors, beating on their doors, warning them to get out. And miraculously, all of those people, those families and those young children were able to get out of this fire safely. Now, Red Cross, they are insisting with uh, these people to make sure they have somewhere to go. They just pulled up here on scene. So, uh, but the good news, everybody was okay here and we are still working to learn the cause of this fire. We'll keep you guys updated on this developing story as we learn more. Reporting live from downtown St. Louis, I'm Blair Lede, Fox 2 News.